Before we start, could you say, um, Sam Ross meets Jamie Fox? That's right. Do your own advertising. Huh? Jeremy, uh, you get to have a job which most people wish they could have, which is when they get annoyed with politicians, you get to actually um, see them and actually like tell them what you think, rather than most people who have to uh, be down the pub and just have to vent it with their friends. Does that, um, does that, is that one of the most appealing things about your job? You get to tell politicians what you think? Oh, I don't know, do tell politicians what I think. I mean, I, I, yeah, clearly, my uh, frustration becomes evident at times when I was not getting an answer to a question, but I don't think I'd tell them what I think. In fact, I think, I quite strongly feel that the personal convictions of someone in my position are neither here nor there. Uh, because, you know, that was ever voted for me. Um, I think that I'm just there to ask the one or two of the questions the average reasonably intelligent viewer would like to see asked, that's all. So there's not a chance you to vent your spleen about what's bothering you about them? I don't think so. I think if it were, can you imagine? Well, you, better, you ought to think about that, because if, if everybody did that, and I know there are some people who view that as the function of the, uh, the electronic media, um, and who do just go on to rant, and uh, on, you know, from left or right, or both sides simultaneously, it sometimes seems to me, but I, I, no, I don't think that's what, I don't think that's what it's about, no. How did you get into television journalism in the first place? Um, well, I sort of, I was in radio and uh, I've always written a bit, and I've just been incredibly fortunate and just done things that seemed interesting at the time. And uh, I started doing what I'm doing now because I couldn't carry on doing what I was doing before, which was I was on the road and I just uh, I spent a lot of time travelling and I, I just couldn't really do it anymore. Of all your um, journalism pieces, which one has been uh, the most memorable for you? Because of course many people say that your, uh, your most famous moment was when you were interviewing Michael Howard and with the uh, did you threaten to overrule him question. Did you threaten to overrule I, I was not entitled to instruct Derek Lewis, and I did not instruct him. And the truth, of, to the, him? the truth of the matter is that Mr. Marriott was not suspended. Did you I threaten did not, to overrule him? I did not overrule Derek did Lewis. Did you threaten to overrule him? I took advice on what I could or could not did do, you threaten and to I overrule acted him, Mr. scrupulously Howard? in accordance with that advice. I did not overrule Derek Lewis. Did you Lewis. threaten to overrule Mr. him? Mr. Marriott was not suspended. Did you threaten to overrule him? I have accounted for my decision to dismiss Derek Lewis Did you threaten in to great overrule him? detail before the House of Commons. I note you're not answering the question whether you threatened well, to the... overrule him. Does that one stick in your mind as much as it does for other people? I'm afraid to say that you know, if you do this thing night after night, very little sticks in your memory. It all just blurs after a while and while so it takes a particular recollection to, to trigger it off. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't think the most interesting interview is always the one you're just about to do, really. And it's nothing, nothing that happened in the past. I mean, everybody goes on about that interview but as being a kind of dialogue of the deaf. But I, 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 don't, I can't say I think about it except when someone like you mentions it. Do you feel um, some politicians are worried when they meet you? Well, some politicians say they are. I very much doubt it. I mean, you've got to be realistic. In, these, in this relationship, the cards haven't been dealt equally. I mean, you know, I'm the ignorant one, or the journalist generally is the ignorant one, and the politician, the spokesman for a vested interest is the person who has the information. And Information is the, is the currency that's in which the transaction is conducted. Uh, so I don't, I don't see there's any reason for them to feel nervous. I mean, the to is ask the question, it's pretty simple. Do you wish Newsnight was prime time? What do you see? It is prime time. What time do you go to bed? Actually, quite late, so. Well, there you are, it is prime time. Prime time for you, anyway. <laughs> You are our target audience. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the educated elite. Or... I don't know how educated you are. I don't know how much of an elite you are. 
Probably not. Talking of which, why isn't the University of Gloucester field in a team for University Challenge yet? Should every university ha handle them? Well, ours wouldn't let us because they thought that we would embarrass ourselves and then the SEO I'm sure you won't. I'm sure you'd be absolutely admirable. Well, they, they're, they're scared that the, the university would cut their funding, so... Well, I think that's pathetic. I think you should get a team up. University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. The, uh, what the most interesting Obviously. people you've met on University Challenge, because there are some interesting people here. Used especially to describe the government of Rome during the 10th century, the term pornocracy refers literally to the dominating political influence of people in what profession? Um, the church, the papacy. The church. Uh, the church. No, it's prostitution. There are some interesting people. I mean, I, I belong to the heretical minority that likes students. I know we're all supposed to say they don't know anything and they're useless, but actually, I think they know amazing things. Uh, so. I mean, loads of interesting ones, yeah. yeah. And if you uh, had any advice uh, for students, uh, what would it be? Who'd like to follow a, a career similar to yours? I wouldn't dream of giving such advice. Uh, I think that you must... <sighs> Curiosity is the thing, isn't it? You've got to want to find things out. Uh, and if you're not interested in finding things out, then this is clearly not the right job for you. You've got to be endlessly curious about how the world works and have a little bit of a little bit of persistence in trying to find find the answers. If you didn't do TV journalism, what would you prefer to do on TV? Like uh, present a, a documentary series? Well, yeah, I've done that. I, I, I have no desire to go into light entertainment, but I, you know, if one's lucky enough to be asked to do things. I mean, I was asked to do Strictly Gun Dancing. I was asked to go on the first I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out. No, I'm a Celebrity. What's it? I oh, know that other one, the Big Brother House one, Celebrity Big Brother House. I'm oh, very glad I didn't know. Jerry Paxton, thank you very much. Let me out of here now. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let you out of here. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. No, thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. Bye. Right. Okay, good.